Cross-dressing, coming out to your partner. Question. I need some help if possible. I'm new on here and have a big problem. I am currently living with someone and I really want to tell her about Gemma properly. I kind of mentioned it before we moved in together. My new partner took it okay. However, I don't think she understands that I need to be Gemma whenever I can. It's getting really frustrating because I can not dress fully. Shave or do little things like getting some photos together. I really do want to tell her. However, I love her and I am worried she would freak out and leave me. I do not have the problem of telling family as they threw me out of the home about three years ago for going out with this girl. What is the best way of telling her? I really need to do this soon. Reply. You must love your present partner to leave your family for her. If your relationship is a solid one. You must tell her about your need to be Gemma. I told my wife years ago whilst we were having a nice meal together. She was very relaxed when I told her about Lisa Maria as being a very important part of me. She was a little upset at first. However, she soon came round to understanding. She realised I still loved her as much, if not more now everything was in the open. There would be no more hiding clothing and makeup from her. I now help her around the house. Cleaning. Fully dressed as Lisa Maria. My wife now even buys clothing for me. This is how far I have travelled on my voyage to happiness. Bearing this in mind, I feel you must tell your partner about Gemma. If not only for your own peace of mind. However, choose the right moment. This may be when she is in a happy and contented mood. Do not go at it like a bull in a china shop. Be gentle and thoughtful. This can all be a shock at first to any real woman. Reply. There is no best way and no magic formula. This is one of those really big topics that ultimately boil down to a matter of personal judgment. For what it's worth, however, I recommend the following. 1. Do not rush it just because you feel frustrated. The likelihood is, in any event, that you are going to have to reign in your cross-dressing. At least for a while. Until she has come to terms with it. 2. Minimize the shock to her. As in. Do not suddenly appear dressed. Take it gently and slowly and make sure you do so in appropriate surroundings where she can react as she wishes. Make sure there is time for her to ask you questions without distractions. 3. This discussion is going to be about her reaction to you as much as you yourself. It's worth anticipating how she may react. But sometimes the things partners react to are not what you'd expect. The normal questions include. Are you gay? Do you want to transition? Do you want to embarrass me in public? 4. Perhaps most important make sure your relationship is on a sound footing. Ensure that she feels your love and reassurance. There are some great online resources as well with thoughts and ideas on how others have handled this challenge. Reply. Thanks for the help so far girls, I'm hoping to do it this week, but I'm terrified. Expecting those questions that you said like are you gay? I really want her to be part of this and help me through it. It has taken me a long time to accept it myself. However, now I do. I guess this is just the next step in my life. Reply. Caroline came out of the closet this month. We have been married 37 years and the children have flown the nest. Both of us have interests and to some extent seem to do our own thing. One of my best friends is Suki. She has become a friend of the family. So gradually in her male mode her femme characteristics have been accepted. I have always joked about wanting to go to a woman's meeting dressed as a woman. So I have always made light of my predilections. I have over the past months made no secret that I wanted to go to the BNO one month and that Suki would lend me the clothes. This October was to be the target. However, it did not plan out that way. I contacted another tea girlfriend Jan and suggested we went to Stunners on Friday night. I told my wife that I intended to go out for the evening and where I was going and did I have her approval. I didn't dress at home but it was agreed that I could go out and be girly for the evening. 
My wife still hasn't seen me dressed or even pictures of me dressed. Everything was fine. However, the following morning my wife wanted a sit-down talk. She kindly but firmly stated that if I was going to be Caroline and go out as Caroline she would accept it. However, this was on the condition that any time spent as Caroline, would have to be compensated by my time as her husband doing things with her. I suppose in my desire to embrace my Caroline persona I had been neglecting my duties to spend quality time with my wife. As a result, we had not so much grown apart. Just led two separate lives. Living in the same house but doing our own thing. This is what I have learned through the process. Anyone who is considering coming out should take an introspective look at their relationship with their partner. If the relationship is close, it is easier than if you have somehow gone your separate ways while sharing the same bed and living in the same house. A strong relationship will survive the shock. However, my wife will take some time to fully accept my need to be Caroline some of the time. The friendship of Suki I think was the catalyst. It made it easier. She liked him in his male mode and she could see that he was an important part of my life. It is a difficult call. The third person could be the catalyst or the reason for the original relationship to fall apart. This is just the account of my recent coming out. I know that as a result, I have to spend more time with my wife which is good and rewarding and therefore less time spent in furtive encounters as Caroline. To sum up. Yes, I'm glad my wife knows and is coming to terms with acceptance. Reply. One of Penn's chief worries last August, when she finally discovered my predilections, was that I would, given the freedom to be Trisha, after all these years, become less of the man that she knew and married. For a while that went hand in hand with minor insecurity about the possibility that I might eventually wish to transition. Penn felt, if this was to happen, she would lose her man altogether. It all comes down to the fact that she, like most, married a man, not a woman. The Suki connection is interesting. This is not only because Suki's a very much valued friend to Penn and I, but because meeting another close friend face to face for the first time, in this particular case, Saskia, was a major step in accepting the fact that I was relating to real people rather than fruitcakes. I was going to say ordinary but there's really not much ordinary about Z. It actually wasn't until after our first trip to Rotterdam that she saw me dressed for the first time. We had been out shopping together and I'd snaffled up a rather nice skirt in the sales. By then, it didn't feel completely out of the ordinary just to try the skirt on. Not too long after that, Penn decided she might quite like to go to BNO just to meet some of these strange witty people I'd been talking with online. That was about six months ago. From that point, Trisha has been part of our lives in a way that I'd never anticipated. The chief difference being the very close and genuine friendships we've formed that go beyond the bounds of online lun. These are the things that have coming out worthwhile and have made the inevitable palatable. Just another couple of observations. It is important when sharing these things with your partner to make sure that you are able to answer truthfully to as many of her questions as possible. That can be quite difficult because I'm not sure that even now I quite understand why I'm a crossdresser. I am lucky in that sense because a couple of years ago I created a website that was part vanity project and part an attempt to put down my own thoughts about the whole TG thing. Penn found it really useful to fill in some of my sometimes incoherent explanations. We are now actually in the process of rewriting the websites as a sort of joint perspective. Even with all of the advantages I've had though. Like the website. The support of my friends. It has taken time to work through this new phase in our relationship. Time, talk, and honesty would seem to be the key to the whole thing. Reply. One of the developments in coming out to Anita is that yesterday we had a girly day out shopping together. We found a nice women's clothes shop in Walton with some lovely tops which we both liked. The upshot was that we selected a top which we both liked and retired to try it on. By this time the two shop assistants had worked out what was going on. They were very helpful and friendly and so we agreed to buy the larger size. One of the other shoppers remarked that she wished her husband took such a keen interest in the clothes she bought. We left the store, both on a high, 
giggling like a couple of teenage girls. One of the downsides is that Caroline now has to do a more proportionate amount of ironing. Reply. I have the strangest feeling that this just might not be as difficult as you imagine. I feel that your friend already suspects Gemma Lou's existence. If she indeed does, half the battle is already won. Let's face it, what you would like to confess isn't exactly the crime of the century. You haven't grown two heads or four arms, have you? There is an old motto. A more vincit omnia. Love conquers all things. I have known three cases where partners already had a very good idea prior to confession. Therefore the shock was minimized. In all three cases, the result was acceptance of the situation. Good luck. Be very brave. You will be okay.